Hey, this is Eli from Iconoclast Jermaine. The place to fuck with your old ass beliefs and shake some shit up. Break up shit. One on one. Every once in a while, after a breakup, we uh, start thinking about the good old days. We start reminiscing. And this could be a problem. Because, yeah, there were some good times, weren't there? It sure was. Not everything was bad. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been with them. When you go about reminiscing and being sentimental about the good old days or about when the relationship was good, you need to take a piece of paper and start writing down all the things that were shitty, all the things that were shitty in that fucking relationship. Everything that was shitty in that relationship. You need to write down everything that was shitty about how they did you during the breakup. Especially if they broke up with you. Just left and replaced your ass with somebody else. You need to write all that shit down. You need to remind yourself that you are broke up for a reason. That there is uh, something definitely wrong with just remembering the good times because if it were all just butterflies and roses you all would still be together which no relationship is all butterflies and roses at the same time we tend to forget in time we tend to forget all the bad shit you know you've been away from her or him for a long time or for a while and you just forget you say oh yeah but we did have such a good time then or and when that happens you really need you really really need to write down the bad times those times when they were they were just being a dick or a cunt you really need to write that shit down and look it over, and look it over, and look it over. First go through during the, rela the relationship. You know, whenever they would put you down, whenever they would pop slurs, whenever they would talk about your hobbies or your interests, or maybe your friends, or, um, I don't know, whatever it was that was really negative about him or her. You need to write that down. You really need to write down, especially if you got, if you were the one that got dumped. You need to write down how they dumped you, what happened that day when they dumped you, what happened after they dumped you. If you tried to make shit right with them, you need to write down what you did and then how they responded. Because more than likely they responded like a cold, apathetic asshole or dick, cunt, whatever. You need to write that shit down and you need to keep it somewhere where you can look it over. And every time, every time you get to wanting to go back or get to thinking or pining over them, look that paper over. Look it over. Because there's a reason why you're not together anymore. There is a reason why you're not together anymore. I hope that this has been a help to you. Now, after you've been apart for a long, long time and you can make peace, after you go through the anger and you begin to accept things as they are, then you can go back, you can look over the relationship and be thankful for the good things. But right now, right now, you need to write down all the evil, bad shit. Write it all down. Write it all down. Write down... Some of the bad shit that um, you did that was brought about maybe that they triggered in you. Write that shit down. It was not all roses. Otherwise, you guys, it, I mean, it was not even quite possibly um, communicative, uh, a healthy, it, it was probably not even a healthy relationship, especially there toward the end. So you need to write that shit down. Write it down. Because you will forget... 
the negative shit in time. And when you forget, you'll start thinking about the good times. And that's okay. You can write those things down and set them aside for the moment. But start writing down all the negative, bad shit. The bad arguments. The repetitious arguments. The arguments that happen over and over and over again. Write that shit down. You need it. To get past this, you need it. So I hope this has been a help to you. And how do breakups happen with you? What do you do during a breakup? Post your shit in the comments below, my ninjas. And you deserve better. You deserve better. You deserve to have someone who is compatible with you in the long term. Someone that you do business with. It is my contention that if you cannot exchange minds, if you don't have like minds, and you couldn't run a business with this motherfucker, you should not be staying or getting into a relationship with one. Not long term. No, no, no. They might be fun to hang around, hook up with for a little bit, but they're not they're not gonna be long term, long run motherfuckers. So tell me what you think. And if you need my help or you would like to have some coaching, maybe on Skype or uh, face chat on Facebook or other kind of video or telephone coaching. Or if you just have a problem and I, I can if if you give me your name, tell me a little bit about yourself and your problem, I can get back to you. Just text for more information or just text me your name and your issue or your problem to 1-270-943-7691 in the U.S. You might have to put the U.S. code if you're from Britain or another country, and that's cool because I'll still hook you up, my ninjas. I'll still text you back. That's 1-270-943-7691. Also, if this has been a help to you, hit the like and subscribe buttons, my ninjas. And you can also get a hold of me, email me at the.elijah.smith at gmail.com. That's T-H-E dot E-L-I-J-A-H dot S-M-I-T-H at gmail.com. Also, you might want to check out my book, The New Hunter. If you're having problems Figuring out what your purpose is or how even purpose works in a person's life. It's a sloppy little book. It's imperfect. It's impermanent. Just like life is. Just like I am. And that's what makes it perfect. So check it out at Amazon.com. Later, my ninjas.